Hi, happy Monday. Hi, tech. Hi, failure. How are you guys? Hi. Unhappy Monday. I can't believe it's Monday again. There's too many Mondays in the year. But it's going to be October. It's it's the first October week. Last day of September. How was everybody's weekend? Did you guys have a good weekend? <laughs> Not in school today, so I can't complain. Ah, oh, that's nice. Enjoy your day off. Relax, play some games. You know what that means? Pumpkin spice Starbucks. Ah, oh, I love, I don't care if it's basic. I love pumpkin spice. It's so good. <laughs> Don't remind me that it's October already. <laughs> Man, I, before you know it, it's going to be 2025. The next few months are going to fly by. Only three more months. Only three more months. <laughs> These fat past few months have flown by. They honestly, they really have. I don't know, like, <laughs> it's just kind of crazy. I feel like, I don't know. I, my brain is still in 2020 that's where my brain is and I feel like the past four years have been four years of 2020 I can't believe it's been four years and I feel like we haven't left that year <laughs> it's crazy wait that means the Germans are coming in three weeks what's that what do you what like vacation or did they tell you that they're coming <laughs> did the germans call you and say hey we're coming <laughs> all the germans they're gonna come visit you <laughs> as part of the exchange oh Oh, okay. I see. We went over there and now they come over here. That is so cool. That's so cool. I love that. It's too bad we don't really have something like that here. I mean, on Earth, but I've never experienced school on Earth. That's so cool. The Germans. You'll see them soon. Hold on. I have a heater on because I was really cold, but now I'm like really warm. Hold on one second. Ah, there we go. That's better. Hmm. 
It's honestly kind of a ripoff. We go to Berlin and they come to a random, unimportant American city. <laughs> Not a lot around here. That's interesting. Uh, I feel like. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> I feel like there's so many cool, amazing spots in Europe. And then, like, <laughs> you just come into the States and it's like, small town, nothing to do. <laughs> I'm just checking my weather really quick. Okay. Thank goodness. It's cooling down. Oh my gosh. It's been too hot too long. I don't like it. <sighs> There's some interesting stuff in surrounding cities, though. That's good. What a cool program. Not us, though. <laughs> you gotta travel out. <laughs> There's like one thing. <laughs> At least you have one thing. <laughs> trying to think if I, what did I do this weekend? I don't think I did. I, I had errands and I worked, but I don't think I did anything interesting. Tell you what, there's nothing super interesting around here. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> oh my gosh, I woke up so early this morning too. I've been up for like five hours. I woke up so early, I just woke up and I couldn't get back to sleep. And I'm so tired. I hate when that happens. Hold on. Let me check. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I gotta check something here. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, okay. Yeah, I woke up super, super early. No idea why. It's gonna be one of those days. Got my water. I got a snack. The last time, the last time I played um, Iron Bark Lookout, I never got to finish it because it was on my old computer that couldn't even run it. <laughs> Which it was, uh, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Like I. I got like soft locked in the lookout. I think I only I only played like 20 minutes of it or something. Seen by the hardest boss, lookout stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I I played enough to like get to the lookout and then like check my computer. And then I had to like go down the steps to go check on something and it wouldn't let me down the steps. And 
And then I think my my model was like the frames dropped. I don't know. It was bad. It was so bad. In the olden days, the olden days of Waffly. I had a lot of <laughs> like a lot of streams where like I had to stop the stream and fix something and then start streaming again. You make it sound like it was five years ago. It feels like it was five years ago. When I was, when I was young, just a young waffle trying to make my way. <laughs> it feels that way sometimes. <laughs> it really wasn't that long ago. <laughs> All right, let me get this all set up. A wee, <laughs> a wee alien baby. I was just a wee baby. Let me see. Hang out here, Stellar. You can hang out with everyone else. <laughs> Thank you for changing that. Finally finished Dungeon 6 of Echoes of Wisdom. Oops, it's 4 a.m. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks so cute. It looks so cute. I want to get it so bad. I will. I'll get it. I'll get it uh, in a couple months. I gotta put this on here. There we go. And oops. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay. Just a slider until the first F is barely visible. I can't even see it. I can see it. Wait. I can see it there. I think that's. No, let's make it a lol. Yeah, okay. There we go. It's really cute, and most of the way through the second arc of the game. Oh, oh, you're most of the way through the second arc. Wow. There's more than one F. <laughs> That's what I was thinking at first. I'm like, I'm like, I could totally see the F, and then I realized there was an F before the two. <laughs> Have I played the original Until Dawn? I have not. I know that they... Is it already remastered? Is it out? Or... Ooh. I'm a little... A little twitchy here. The remaster is coming out October 4th. I never played it and I've seen like side by side of like the old and the remaster 
and it looks amazing. It's coming out on the 4th. See, if I play that, I would need to, like, I would need to save everybody, because I know that, like, people can die. <laughs> it's nuts. I've seen, like, clips. I've seen part of the game, and it looks insane. It looks crazy. Sorry, I'm just... Why? Wow. I can see why this messed up. I'm just looking at my um my task manager while the game is running and I can see why this was messing up my game before in my old computer. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Hopefully it's not too loud. Hey, I noticed you're requesting story submissions. I was watching a YouTuber play Fears of Pathom, Carson House. I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. <clears throat> It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Oh, <gasps> ooh. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. <laughs> yes, quite the story. <laughs> I love this game, it's so charming, I can't explain any of it. I want to play it. I still haven't finished, um, we have Paper Mario and I haven't finished it. I still need to finish that. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. That's not bad. turn this down just a little bit <laughs> just a tad it might be too loud okay how's it looking still on my way van decided to pull a flat tire me today of all days isn't it late then i'll starve to death before arriving i'll be fine did you pass roseburg yet no why and then this is with kayla 
the other one is with Mitch Scott. Probably see Billy at the gate, just show him your ID. Okay. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind. What a nice drive. Can't wait to start my new job. You ever do this on like a back road? Because you know like nobody's gonna be driving on it, so you just kinda like we drive on the other side. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta Can I? No, okay. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. I love a good diner. Just wanted to drop in and say hi. Thank you for saying hi. Go get some sleep. I'm glad you're enjoying Echoes of Wisdom. Watch me park this. I'm so good at driving. Oh. I got it. I got it. I should have taken it easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Perfect. Like a glove. Like a glove. What does this say? Presidential cliffhanger awaits Florida recount. Hmm. All right. I, re I remember this part. <laughs> Bathroom door opens. Well, I can't use the toilet, so that's a shame. This dude's eating a juicy, juicy burger. So look, we're gonna close the door. Door is closed. Hi, sir. How's the burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. <laughs> you new around here? I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in the forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Ooh, spooky. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's just a story. I forgot I could run. <laughs> Walking is so slow. Let's grab a burger. They honestly managed to make a lot of things like kind of off, a little unsettling, so you're just not comfortable, you know? Please stop that dang music. <laughs> they look a little lost. I'm just passing through. 
where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby park. Oh, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Ooh. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. I don't think I can handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, that's for sure, but I find it very fulfilling. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why is the waitress not moving? He was walking in place for a while. Right? <laughs> I thought I saw that, but I was like, it just went right. <laughs> very, she's a, she's a skinwalker. How are you doing today? I'm good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like. I'll be right with you. Thanks. I'd really like to turn that off. Thank you. Huh. I'm gonna sit here. Ba 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 ba. Bow, bow, bow. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Oh, yeah. What can I get for you today? Let's see. A cheeseburger with fries. That actually sounds amazing. Grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. I don't like onion rings. Meatball sub with chicken nuggets. I'm going to have a cheeseburger with fries. A burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Um, We're going to go with a large Coke. Anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. I appreciate you. Thank you for all of your hard work. Weird waitress. Mm -hmm. Pretty pleasant here. Ba, 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 ba. Where's my water? Hmm. Can I get up? Oh, I can. I really have to pee. It's been a long drive. Na, 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 na. Da, da, da. I really had to pee. <laughs> I can aim it. <laughs> it's my dream come true. We. Whoops, I spilled a little bit. We gotta flush it. Now let's wash our hands. Oh, okay. I'm so afraid, I don't remember somebody comes and talks to me but i don't remember if somebody like runs up at you <laughs> like in the last one i see you've also mastered the public toilet technique <laughs> i've been practicing <laughs> oh i think my food is here Oh, hold on a second. Ah. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to dip into the fries first. I like, I'll take like a bite of fries and a bite of a burger and like, Eat them both at the same time. <laughs> so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. I bet it's good. Drink my drink. Hold on, Kayla. Let me finish my Coke. 
<laughs> told you. Hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Oh, did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that guy got up. That's right. Oh my gosh, she's so slow. <laughs> she's so slow. Here's the check. Your total is six dollars. Uh, you know what? It's not my money. We're gonna pay her that and a fifty percent tip. Thanks for the generous tip. No problem. No problem. Can I see how the place works? No. All right, bye guys, bye. This dude is so creepy. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I also don't like to be talked to while I'm eating. This dude is still eating that hamburger. Uh-huh, see, look. Door is open, and I know I closed it. And now you go here. Can't open. Can't open the bathroom. Oh. This thing is too big. It's just too big. And there we oh dang it. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Almost free. Okay. Wow. Only took me a two-point turn. Not bad, not bad. How far into the forest can I go? No, not very far. I was kind of hoping I could just kind of go into the wilderness. By myself. Mm -hmm. I want to include the location of this part. Oh, for what? I missed what he said because I think I was trying to go into the woods. I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. <laughs> don't, don't tell anybody where this is. It's dangerous. We got a park. And then I remember I need to grab my bag, which is right here. All right. Oh, why is the sound so spooky? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be funny if I get to the same point in the game and it just won't let me continue? <laughs> okay. I think, I remember the guy kind of startles us in here. God. hate them. <laughs> I, I hate them so much. <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me, you jerk. My lord, I have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? 
You're Billy, right? I'm the new transfer fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. I knew, I knew he was coming for me, and I just, <laughs> I knew it was coming, and it's, they just, they do it so fast. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, bye, Billy. Let me open the trail gate for you. Let me look in here real quick. Water. Some drinkies. All right. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thanks. Thanks, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now for our purposes. When you get to your tower, be sure... Whoa, gosh. Should sure make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. It'll be your closest contact in case any... In case of any emergency. Thanks, Billy. Okay, bye. Oh. Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than a half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Hey. That, this flashlight, does nothing. You can see nothing. I could live in a fire tower. I can do it. I can definitely do it. I ascended the stairs. Let's open these babies up. Looking good, looking good. Hold on. We're opening all these up. Got a light. I wonder, do I see anything weird? So far? I don't think so. I was wondering like, oh, do I see a light? Do I see somebody out there? No. It just like throws on the bed. Okay. Um. I embark fire department. Gonna need this. And. Osborne Firefinder. Like a giant compass the size of a pizza. Oh man, pizza. <laughs> I do love pizza. Oops. I like it. I don't like that. You know, I might close the 
the windows. I don't think I like them open at night. I've changed my mind. I don't like it. Do those have to be open? They must be. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll close that one and that one. See, that way nobody can uh, peek in at me. I remember I have to... Ooh. Oh, wow, that's pretty stocked. There's meat. Oops. Nope, nope. Okay, that, that can just stay there. Mm-hmm. That's nice, I like it. Let me see, where's... There's the other lookout. I zoom in pretty far here. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. Do I just... Wait, oh, I think I need to actually put the password in, right? What's the password? Is it here? Oh, John. Ask for extra supplies. I said after 12. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. System password is Iron Bark. Iron Bark 11. Iron Bark 11. Okay. Let's do. I hacked it. I hacked the system. We're in. There it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer day. <laughs> Here's a random fact for you. Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, continues to grow about a quarter of an inch taller each year due to tectonic plate movements. I remember this too. I want to play the zombie game. <laughs> I was really into it. We're going to play it. Whoa, right away! Hold on, hold on. Whoa! I, uh... <laughs> this is so fun. Look at all these guys. They're all just trying to sell me something. All right, we're gonna, let's go like explore the house. I remember the house being really cool. <laughs> What's up here? Wait, this is where I was. No, this is different. Hold on. Ooh. Oh shoot! Wow. What? What's this way? Dang it. Yeah, oh no! 
there's so many. How are there so many zombies here? Whoop. Oh. I feel like this is just gonna take me back around where I was. Wow, it did. It did take me back around. About back down this way. Wow. What an interesting map. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, type help. Ah, oh, just for available system update, current version, install system update with package code. What if I did? It's not. Okay. We're good. We're good. So, welcome to the state of the art service reporting software develop. Oh. Hello? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? I am <laughs> I'm really tired. Get a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. Okay. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Alrighty. Well let's get a fire going. I think I might need to go down and get some wood. Oh, oh. <gasps> wait, hold on. Hold on a second. There's no way. I, I must be doing something wrong. Hold on. It won't let me down the steps. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. I'm trying. Talk to me. Talk to me, Connor. There's no firewood. Marley. Who was in the lookout before you. What happened to Marley? Yeah, he was one gritty woman. <laughs> Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Okay. The clean must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. All right. Okay, so I do remember like So now I must be able to go down the steps to go, yeah. So I remember before I, I figured out that I had to talk to that guy, but then I also couldn't go down the steps <laughs> afterwards. What's all in here? Matches, a book, what a cool spot. What a cool spot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got some gas on there. I mean, I've got... There we go. And then how about I put the... I see it. I see the smoke. 
Okay. Stop watching me. No. I'm gonna put the matches right on top of the stove so I know where they are. I also should probably put this right on the stove too. Or, I guess that's fine. Upside down? That's good. No, let me get to it. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Every night? You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay, so what did I need? The temperature, wind speed, cool weather condition. I've got zero hiker. Oh, not 90. Zero. How? What is the temperature outside? Temperature, wind speed. Temperature, wind speed. I need this. Hold on. I need this thingy. There we go. This is for the wind speed. 17 knots. 17 knots. And then... Hold on. Let me... Let me... Oh! This in really quick. Well, let's save if I... Yeah. 17 knots and then um there is a a temperature thingy somewhere where was it there it is what is it <laughs> 40 What is that? 40... Forty-six? Maybe? Let's try 46. And then... What's the... How do I know what the, um... What the cloud coverage or the weather is? I mean, it looks kind of cloudy, right? It's, it's like a little cloudy. So let's do that. Oh no, what's my name? Uh. Oh shoot. What's, what's my character's name? Uh, was it? Was it Mike? Hold on. Oh, Jack. <laughs> it's Jack. I think it's gotta be his full name. I looked it up because I was like, I cannot remember Jack Nelson. Okay, um, clear. Thunderstorm? I remember... Wind. Not a blizzard. Rain? Uh... Should it just be Jack? I feel like 46 is right. What's wrong?
That's not that's not right. Is it the date? Log accurate data is sent for evaluation. Uh Okay, so no numbers. Why can't I? Oh, hold on. Do I seriously? Oh my gosh, forty four point four. <laughs> I didn't know I could click that. Oh, dang it. Stupid. The right weather condition? Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm so good at lookouts. Did you copy, new guy? I. Tower 11, copy. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12, signing off. Bye, Tower 12. Okay. Well, I don't like how he said that. Good night, Connor. Oh. 11.32, right before midnight. Perfect timing. Let's see. There's nobody at Tower 13 or Tower 4. Okay. This would be such an interesting job. This is the Ironbark State Park trail map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty and the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. Why, thank you. Thank you kindly. I remember these. They're very weird. I don't, I don't want to watch them. Disk folder Rainbow OS. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, world. Um... Connor? Alright, well I have to pee, so... My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Let's close the door. I don't like that. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Oh! I just pee off of the side. <laughs> it's a good thing nobody's down there. We. <laughs> Well, I don't like that, so let's go back inside. Is anybody on here now? Huh. Okay, well. Good night, everybody. Sleep tight. Ow. Excuse me. All right. 
sip. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that view. Looks so good. Take a photo to remember. I like it right there. Beautiful. Oh, wow. What a beautiful morning. saw that. New guy, you copy? Yeah. Connor from Tower 12. You copy? I'm coming, Connor. Hold on. Keep your pants on, buddy. Tower 11, do you copy? Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Well, let me have a look. All right, hold on. I need... Ugh, get out of here. It's a good thing I know how to use a compass. Haha! -ha. I see it. The smoke is white. Indicative of a campfire. What are these rascals? Um, I, would you hold on a second? I'm coming, Connor. Oh my goodness. He's very impatient. Spot that white smoke up north it appears to be in the lazy trail sector. Mm. It's not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Mind checking it out? Yeah, okay. No additional information at the moment. Okay. Just follow lazy trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, all right, heading north, I'll put back on it. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. All right, where do I have bear spray in here? There's a fire extinguisher. I bet it's so toasty with that fire. All right. Well, hold on. I didn't know the bear spray was in there. Give me just, give me just a second. That's wine. Where would the bear spray be? Da da da. Okay, there we go. Da 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 da. Ba ba ba. Oh shoot! Where am I going? Kind of lost track. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no. Where am I going? That way. Okay. Oh, that's why I couldn't see it. Okay. That's, I thought it was in that direction, but I wasn't sure. Mm hmm. Probably this way. Caution. Aww. Bears just want to snuggle. That's all they want. <gasps> oh no!
Oh, shoot. I haven't had... Hold on. Oh, my goodness. I don't think my sector has very good service. Ah! Oh, somebody's whistling. Oh, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I forgot I had bear spray. Is there, can I grab anything here? What the heck? It's a little lake. Okay, oh, I hate it, I hate it. Is there any? Okay, so, how about? <laughs> Hello? Man, okay, I think that's it. Oh, I don't like this. I don't I don't like this. Okay. All right. I think we're okay. We're good. Stop. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Mm -mm. What? Why am I not back in my tower? Why can't I already be back? <laughs> no. Out of my way, move it. Don't trust anybody. I guarantee somebody was in here. Somebody was in here. <laughs> I'd report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Oh, Connor. Connor? No, they never do. I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. I'm sick of them too. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Jeez. Anything else you notice in those woods? Um, the scream. The scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. Uh huh. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you say so. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? What are the they doing? They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Hmm. What does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some... Oh. Uh... Like they're it's crazy, I know. Yeah. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower Eleven urgently. Hmm. That is unsettling. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Right. I do. Hey, no problem. We the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. 
Yeah. <laughs> These goons. <laughs> I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Get me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Oh, you know what? I I need to be a good reporter. What is it? Oh. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. No, let me report. Can I report? 20 knots. Huh. Twenty dots. Forty-seven point seven. Mm -hmm. Was it twenty? Was it twenty knots? Did I? I didn't assist any hikers today. Porter Bob Jack. There we go. Yes! I did it right! I was able to do it! Hey, I could totally do this job. Okay, so... They want me to... They want me to, like, make... some lasagna. Actually, I don't know if that's what they actually want me to do. Okay, well, that can stay in there. Everything just ends up back in the fridge anyways. At this point, I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. So, oh. Uh, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni. Okay, so hold, hold on. Pasta and marinara sauce. Pepperoni, moths, and tomatoes. Uh, haha. -ha. Pepperoni, where's the moths? Where's the moths? I love mozzarella. Is that the moths? No, that's eggs. Get out of here. Where's the mozzarella? Is that it? That's sliced ham. I don't need that. There we go. Mozzarella. And diced tomatoes. Uh. Is it? No, that looks like it's all fish up there. Where's the diced tomatoes at? It's not these, right? No. It's ham, eggs. Where? Oh. And then let's uh stick it in the oven. Hey, delicious. Two guy, you there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. We'll it's relieving. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Why, thank you, Connor. Go over 12, signing off. Over and out. Okay, I... The, the silence is kind of weird. <laughs> The silence is a little weird. Is it ready? I'm so hungry. Where? Hold on. <laughs> where? Where am I gonna eat this at? Oh, maybe at my desk? No? I 
I actually don't know. I don't know where to put this. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Wait, maybe... Uh, why? Hold on. Why is this so hard? Why can't I figure out... I get some nice music going while I eat. Okay. Um... Uh, I, how do I not, should I eat this out here? Am I going to eat the whole thing? All right, well, Connor's asleep. I wish Connor could tell me what I'm supposed to do with this lasagna. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound so juicy. The juicy lasagna. I love, aw oh man, I want like stuffed shells or something. I hate when there's food in games because then I, I want it. It makes me want food. Wow, he's really gonna eat this whole thing. That's kind of crazy. I was already full. I should probably put this in the refrigerator then. Turn the lights off and go to bed. It was getting cold. I'd get the wood lit. Okay, wood stove lit. Let's do that. I need, oh, of course, of course. Let's go get some wood. I hate that it's all the way down here. Why is it all the way down here? I hate this. Oh. Okay. I don't. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Why is it so far? There should be like a little elevator. Holy system. I don't like it. I'll burn this whole place down. That's not good. It's probably fine. There we go. Yes. All right, turn that off. Let's go to bed. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Okay. That's probably a good idea. I think there's one more. There we go. I feel like it would be so nice to wake up to like the fire and then a nice a nice crisp morning that'd be so nice there we go okay um Oh my god. God. Why does it have to be so scary?
Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, just get up. Just get up. Just wake up. Oh! It's the whistling! Oh my god. Ah! Didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Oh my god, why? Oh, I hate it. Connor, Connor, please wake up. Do you have any idea what time it is? Just couldn't wait until morning. I'll tell you what, this guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. Connor! I don't think- I don't think these are kids messing around. Mm-mm. This feels like some real ritual. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, that's where rituals happen, Connor. For now, mm. just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. <sighs> Connor didn't make any sense. He's probably in on it. Connor's probably one of the cultists or something. It's only my third night. <laughs> Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Oh, don't like it. My paranoia these woods only grew after last night, which let me... I missed it. Okay. <laughs> Why are they so dirty? Oh, there we go. Oh! I got it. I got it. Clean it up. Oh! Connor! 
Not our quick. Where's my door? Oh my god, where's my door? Did I walk right past it? I did. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help! Please, someone answer. Hi, I'm here, don't Hello? worry. Can anyone hear me? Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Hey, troll hunter, how are you? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Doing good. Internship is over. How did it go? How did you like your internship? What do you? What are your thoughts? What are you feeling about it? I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map. Hold on. Hold on a second. So he's at a lake. Hold on. Well, um, it was nice, really interesting. Good. I'm glad you uh, liked it. Uh, are, are both of these trails seem pretty. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, he's at a lake, but there's a, a fork in the road? Which direction did he. Maybe, maybe, maybe right. I'm gonna tell him to go right. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I, I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but oh no. if you say so. Oh no, hold right on. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Oh no. I'm right here! Oh. I hear you! <laughs> oh my god. I hear your whistles. Oh no! Oh no! What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's You're me? freaking me out. Oh my god. Don't scare me. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up? Hours? Stop. You were not knocking for hours. Oh, that dude is dead. That dude is dead. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. I feel like you would have an accent. <laughs> Good things, interesting, nice colleagues. New things learned. Good level of stressful and idle. Bad things, somewhat. <laughs> every day, every morning. The toilet takes so disgustingly for the whole day. I mean, that's working in an office, though, you know? This dude interrupted me. I was helping a guy. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a PCU. I don't know. <laughs> Not to mention, they'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Hmm. Absolutely, it's a busy job. 
I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Mention the skull. Oh, Lord of mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No, I didn't think about that. Oh. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, can't do anything without the evidence. Yeah, well, all right. Bye. Get out of here. I'm kind of annoyed that he interrupted me. Oh my God, that dude is dead. He's so dead. What do I do now? Maybe I should log. I should log my, uh, my night. How many knots? 27. 27 knots. Hold on a second. Let's do um, 27 knots. 57.7. One. Jack. Oh, the weather condition. Um, clear? I just don't want to look outside. <laughs> Is it windy? Yes, it's windy out. Okay. Making sure I'm doing my job. Degrees Fahrenheit is a joke. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why anything is the way it is. <laughs> I want to go to bed. Can I go to bed? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. What do I eat? Oh, my lasagna. Oh, my God. Leftover cold lasagna, not my favorite. The food was cold. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's kind of crazy to uh, eat cold lasagna. You know. Well, that's heating up. Can I go grab some wood? I was too hungry. Dang it. Da, 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 da. I, while while this is warming up, I could have gone to grab some firewood. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Degrees Fahrenheit makes zero sense. I don't know. Neither one makes sense to me. Okay, let me get up. Let's close that. And then I'm gonna put that in there. Wait. There we go. Can I go to bed? Okay, there we go. Well, now I gotta go get some firewood. Out here in the dark for some reason. Oh man, that dude, that dude is so dead. He's so dead. Hello? I think we're good. <laughs> my god! Oh, I hate this game. Oh. Seriously just gave me a heart attack. Don't tee hee. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Okay. No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi. The uh, new. I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? He's just a friendly man. I, anybody who sneaks up on you, no. No, don't trust you. We must ensure that the right message reached the right place. Wouldn't you agree? Um, yeah, sure. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? <laughs> Nature has its own plans. 
Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. Okay, I'm... Gotta head back to the tower, okay? Have a good night. Yep, okay, bye, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Okay. Bye. I've only been here like four days. How far can I follow him? <gasps> oh wait, I thought he disappeared. <laughs> I thought he disappeared. Like, <gasps> what a mystery. I have a phobia of people jumping out at me, which is a pretty fair phobia, I think. All right, we gotta get some gas. here you copy now <sighs> finally yeah I've been trying to reach you for a while now what where have you been ran into who Silas the guy maintaining that nearby radio tower <sighs> just about yesterday what do you mean yank my chain now what do you mean And who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Yeah, a goon. <laughs> just a, a gooner. <laughs> he knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, buddy. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Okay. I have a phobia of aliens and animated characters. Well, this is the wrong channel for you to be on. <laughs> I don't think you've noticed, but I am both of those. <laughs> No, I always stream three days. I've always been streaming uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Sometimes I add, I'll add an extra day if I'm feeling kind of like, kind of feisty, you know? But I only, I've only been streaming um, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Those are my main days. Boop, go to sleep. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that I, it was just a change of environment that I, need to get, that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Oh, two nights later. Mm -hmm. ba -da -ba -ba. He had Burger King today. Hey, Ooh. You got a minute? Burger King? I haven't had Burger King in a long time. Is the Bacon King burger a thing in the US? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Uh yeah, I got well, I got a minute. Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Ooh. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Because it's a meat overload. Oh, boy. 
if it's a meat overload, then it's probably in the U.S. Oh, wait, can I still talk to you? Oh, wait, no, I, I know how to do it. Oops. Um... Uh, wait, what? How do I up to the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Cheese, mayo, ketchup. Ah, the perfect combo. <laughs> I that a pound of chicken breast in the U.S. costs two to four dollars. That's about, that sounds about right. I just bought chicken. I can't remember how much it was, like per pound. It's because there's, um, there's just farms and farms of chicken. There's just so many chickens. It's ridiculous. It's like about double the price here. Wow. That is expensive. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Honestly, it all depends on like how they're raised too. I think a lot of places don't really like it's the only option we have really but a lot of big companies don't really you know raise them right that's just the way it be over here i'm sure a young man like you compared to oh, i'm a young man what would a young man say thanks for letting me know yeah i didn't pay attention to what he said what did he say Help me C H K U P D. Ah, four three four six zero eight four. Four three four six zero eight four. Hold on. Uh, stop it. Four, three, four, six, oh, eight, four. <laughs> Those poor chickens. I feel bad for the chickens, honestly. Wait. Um, enter an active line. How about 1045? We'll take that one. Oh, okay. How about five nine eight seven? Five nine eight seven? Five four eight seven? Five four eight seven. Ah! Ooh! Is this oh my god. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it. Oh no. Oh no. Grab my flashlight. I need to go check on the generator, probably. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can I, is there like a pause, pause? Hold on one second. I... Here's what I'm just going to hide here because I need to go to the bathroom and I know I'm going to get scared. So I should just go right now just so I, like I don't pee my pants because I'm so scared. <laughs> I'll be I'll be right back like three minutes, maybe. I don't know, but I'll be right back.
Okay. All right. So now, if I get scared, no accidents, okay? Let's see. <laughs> no, I don't care about that stuff. Generator ran out of gas. I think I have gas up here, right? just the way the game is. It's just the way the game is. Okay. I really had to pee before going back up. Um. Okay. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh. One week later. Sounds like an old couple. <laughs> How can you have guessed? I've just been to the toilet. It just happens, okay? Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going on, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Oh, not 2.34 a.m. No. We got another one. It's a store. Yes. So, here's to fathom. There's five, five games right now. It's all like an anthology thing of like people's real, real stories that they've sent in. So it's all like real things that can happen. I think there's like five, like five games in the Fears to Fathom um, collection so far. They're really fun. <laughs> They're good. They're really good. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Be quiet. I know. Well, I don't. Jack, Jack, I need you. You copy? Let me get up. Let me get up. Hold on. I'm coming, Connor. Hold on. I'm on my way. I know. You, <laughs> a little buddy was boofing. Jack, you copy? I'm right here, buddy. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing Camper. Man, there's campers. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Let me get up and then I'm gonna grab my binoculars. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I don't like this. There they are.
Where's my camera? Oh gosh, that gave me chills. I don't like it. Where's my camera? Where, how do I? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I take, I, I use space, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, let's zoom in here. What are they doing? Are they roasting somebody? <gasps> oh my god, stop! Get me out of the cutscene! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. No, please don't get me. Please don't get me. It's so loud. It's so loud. I hate it. I don't like it. actually run because I'm almost wondering if I should should I run down stairs and hide in the uh in the toilet <laughs> Is that where I should hide first? Because I can't, I don't think I can outrun him. I'm just gonna like skip this real quick because now I'm like super nervous. Oh, there we go, okay. so scary oh no <laughs> should I run I maybe I'll try running down to the the toilet <gasps> oh I can't it won't let me it won't let me I need to hide in here <laughs>
right there. He's right there. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to actually run? He's just waiting for me right there. Yep. Okay, no, I was talking real quiet. So, when I'm hiding from these guys, it uses my microphone. So if I'm talking too loud or I'm talking at all, they can hear me <laughs> in the game. So I'm safe here right now, but can I go to sleep? I can't. I had to make a run. Okay, so I, I do have to run. All right, you ready? Huh? No, stop! Where am I supposed to go? I hate that sound. I hate it so much. It's so loud. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe I am supposed to hide in the toilet. Let's hide in the toilet. Yeah, Z-Boy, hold on. Hold on. Watch this. I, I think you came in after this. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like quickly going through all the. So the dude on the on the microphone was saying, um, or on the radio was like, oh, there's smoke out here. There's campers that shouldn't be out there. Can you go check them out? I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time is to take evidence of it. So now I get to take photo evidence. So I, I was thinking about what you said about hitting him from behind, but I said I had to make a run for it. So I, I think I, I think I need to run and I think I need to make it to the toilet. So I'm going to, I'm going to try. Huh? How many times will I have to do this? <laughs> we'll see.
his adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. But it was real! It was real! Oh. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that's the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still hits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the music means that they're following. He's chasing me. I survived. <laughs> Why is the music so nice? Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, every episode is just a different person's story. It's really fun. Four or five, yeah. I played the fifth episode last week and it was really good. A different story, but in the same ones. No, no, just like all completely different stories um, of like just crazy, crazy things happening. Yay! I'm glad I finally got to play that. So, Home Alone? I've like, I've already seen that. I'm like, I could play that. I don't think I have it installed though. I don't want to install anything while I'm streaming just because it would like mess, I think it would mess my streaming up because it happened before while I was, I was updating something. But I think the first one might be, the first one might be free. It might be free to play. <laughs> the Christmas edition. <laughs> but I think the first one is actually free and then these ones you, you buy. But I totally think that it's worth it, honestly. I've seen Carson House. I don't think I've seen Norwood Hitchhike. Have I? I've watched a lot of these. I, maybe I did. Maybe I did see that one. Hmm. The hitchhiker sounds nice. <laughs> you do not want to hitchhike. No. Oh, okay. I was looking at my Steam and I saw something was automatically updating and I was like, no, it's going to mess everything up. I think we're good. No, hitchhiking is a bad idea. Hitchhiking is a bad idea. I do have another game we could play.
Let me see. I was thinking of starting it next week, but I don't know. Kinda, I just, I really want to start it. I kind of played it. Yeah, am I wearing glasses? No. No, not at all. <laughs> no, what? That's crazy. I don't have glasses. <laughs> How could, there's no way you could tell if I did. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me. Let me change this because I want to start this game. I'm adjusting my antenna. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. They need adjusting from time to time. Da, da, da. I what? I just drank? No, I you don't know what you're talking about. I there's no way you could know. There's no way you could know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, I'm changing the title of my stream. You just heard it? <laughs> I got a giant thing of water here. I'm changing my stream title. And I'm trying to think of a title. And I cannot. Ba -da -ba. Hmm. Insert witty title here. <laughs> ah, yes, a classic, a classic insert title. <laughs> I can only come up with one stream title. My brain can't work out another one. You know what? We're just gonna. fails chat gpt it oh <gasps> hold on let's you know what let's ask what the she's already recording how much has she been listening hold on what is she gonna say she's all she was already listening to me hold on <laughs> is it even is she even working right now Um, Stellar, can you come up with a stream title for me? I'm going to be playing Beacon Pines. I'm like a shooting star, dazzling, unpredictable, and leaving a trail of wonder in my wake. What? Watch out, universe, here I come. No, because that was not... Oh... Okay, well, you just do, you do you. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, Stellar.
How strong are your glasses? Are you basically blind without them? I have very bad vision. Very bad vision. So yes. Allow me to introduce you to my book. But they're not, they're not like, they're not really thick. You know, it's just like, I, I can't see anything without them. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. There's something thick in the stream, but it's not the glasses. <laughs> that's, a, that's good. That's actually really good. <laughs> I appreciate that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I have um, astigmatism. So, unless something is, is like... Maybe like five inches from my face, I, I can't see anything. Like, everything is blurry. Everything. It is in that way that you are... Sp Without you, there is no story. Chapter One. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Yeah, I said I said astigmatism, didn't I? Did I say astigmatism? His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. <laughs> I probably said the A too quiet. <laughs> I have stigmatism. <laughs> oh, I just got stigmatism. Hey, Dad, how are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. And only on one eye, the left eye, I think. You have it too? Well, at least it's not both. <laughs> it sucks though, right? It sucks. I was six years old when he died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. Feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Aww. Me too. <laughs> hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Lolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered, and after I checked the pond and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Lolo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. She's not gone. She's just missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna be back. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. She will return. Okay, dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. R.I.P. Mom. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. 
a charm. I forgot about that. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Okay. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. Wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Hello, look to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. The Gran still kind of wigs me out. <laughs> I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Do it yourself. I won't be long. Tell Gran before heading out with Rolo. Okay. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Of course, it just happened. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Hmm. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly. And more covered in flowery fabric. <laughs> Doesn't that look so cozy? I already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. That looks so nice. One of his father's old stethoscopes, Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. <laughs> Let's head upstairs. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Ooh. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. <laughs> Gran's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. All right, let's head into the kitchen. Ooh. Just some dusty knickknacks. certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. I knew it. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Mm -hmm. Oh! Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved.
Chill. We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. I stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you are done chilling and time for Easy. supper. She'll never have to know. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. What is that? The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, oh, you can use the that's Chronicle right. to come back and invoke different charms creating new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. <laughs> Let's go with ponder. <laughs> we were just gonna go ponder for the day. Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. To gardening laid open on the bench. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Luca, you and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. <laughs> my next prepared meals crowded the refrigerator. My next mission is to get into trouble. Each labeled for the day of the week. <laughs> A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Oh, junk. Keys to explore. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, come on. <laughs> Dang it, Rolo. Okay, let's go. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Chapter 2 Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. He's a hyena! <laughs> hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Oh, I'm sure. Come on now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty all right. You're gosh dang right it is. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. And keep Rolo away if I try. Excellent. Sorry, Luca, I gotta get back to the pro proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. The left side's a little low. All right. Oh, 
I can just chill here. Okay, that's enough. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. <laughs> Do it or we'll pound you. Yup. Yeah, but my mom said, yeah, but, yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be freaking king of nickels. Hey, they shouldn't steal? Okay, bye, everybody. No one will see me going here. Who's this? Jetson, is the line playing any tunes today? No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was, a never, it was never about the catch. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. That reminds me, if you ever want his chair back, I've taken to standing recently. <laughs> used me for falling asleep at the reel. It should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Okay, bye. Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? So, you know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building. Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing, are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since, since the foul harvest. Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere, and it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pop throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I got your back. Thanks, Rolo. Now that I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go! Wait, what was that? Hold on. Oh! Ooh. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of static. Rolo thinks it's aliens. He always thinks it's aliens. Probably is. It's probably me. Decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. After Luca's father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. Where did... Where did he go? Think over here? Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on, I'll catch up. All right, bud. The Beacon Beacon. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... News! That Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. <gasps> Ooh! Okay. Hey, Miss Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You be safe now. Wow. Hyper? Hey, Luca, what's up? You know it's summer break, right? Of course. And it's like the morning, correct? She's studying, like they say, the early bird. 
It's the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Hey, Luca. Would you please tell this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? <laughs> Zario, would you like to... Luca, let me give you a little gem of advice. If you ever do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Ah, oh, you're really setting the kid up for success. You never know where you're gonna get a little charm. Oh, Luca, just the fellow I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear, we can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy, would they lie to you? Luca, wait up, I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. <laughs> so we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. Why are you doing that? Turning your... Turning thing with your body. But you're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? Oh, Rolo. Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey sis. Nice weather we're having, huh? Couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unshored. Roxy, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic's shrink array. All the more reason to keep on digging. There's gotta be more life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luca and I have places to be, so if you don't mind. Oh, I do mind. Gonna catch it again because of you. Oh, come on. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or, haul, or I haul you home myself. Rolo froze Come as Roxy on. took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little... chill? In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining. We just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolla's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always said tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big o. Ah, rats. <laughs> I expect a full report about the Valentine place. Couldn't help. Investigate. So, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. What's down here? Oh. His name's Bert. I'm doing some fact checking for the town history exhibit. Did you know, when the town was founded, there were only seven citizens, and they all worked for a mining company. There was only one dirt road leading to town, and there still is only one road leading to town. <laughs> That's the ice cream business. Not great. It's still pretty cold out. And I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mr. Tolliver's not at his grocery stand. He's prepping for the festival, I guess. Okay. Festival stuff. Lots of stuff happening. Apologies, no time for chit chat. 
Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nun Creed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. That's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. Ugh. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Hi. Oh, hey. hey, Joey. How's the big hunk going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going in the weep wood, just be careful where you step. You got it. Let's check over here first, though. Oh, a mansion. How lovely. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. That's strange. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Okay, no turning back now. Caution, electrified fence. Is that something the new? Fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rolo do Luke if he was here? Asked himself what Rolo would do, so that he could rule out that option. I'm definitely not touching that thing. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Come on. One more to go. Yeah. Fences buzzing gave way to silence. Moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There's only one way to find out. Ah, bo, 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 bo. Oh, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. You have no problem poking around in there. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps. The sound of footsteps grew louder. Hello? steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy, but don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Hmm. 
go back here. <laughs> In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> Make a break for it. What have you done? <laughs> he just kicked her. Well, now you want little twerps, you gotta come home eventually. Investigate the Valentine Warehouse with Rolo. Oh. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Sorry about that. Rolo can get overexcited Solomon sometimes. Valentine, current ward of and future successor to the Valentine Fortune, huffed as he brushed off his pants. Town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter, how are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all? No. That is truly a shame. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house. Yeah. And how is that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm-hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. Better to have a caretaker who is rarely around. In low of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say it's best to rely on yourself. Aww. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, heiress. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. <laughs> You're a Valentine now. Strolls are for commoners. Only commoners walk. <laughs> the future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Bye. I'm not talking to this dude again. Ah, oh, I have to. Dang it. Look at my boy. Hold up a tick. Sorry, Mr. Nuncreate. Kinda in a hurry right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Boy, he's got too much of his father in him. I win. A little help. I am the champion. We were racing. Did the road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? I already went through this in another reality. Let me. Electrified fence. It's a new sign. Creepy. How am I going to get around an electric fence? Don't worry. I've got this. <laughs> why did you do that? Always said you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. What now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. I am a genius. It's like I've done this before. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. 
Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Is there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome. Rumble. Did you feel that? Excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. <laughs> Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. Doors locked. Try harder. No dice, no budge. Oh well. The stumpter is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. Can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure this just isn't hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rolo, it would be an honor to throw you in the trash. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, lady luck. What's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. A good inch of stagnant sludge. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Ooh, walkie-talkies. Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic. Ground command, you're coming in five by five. <laughs> Getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help was on the way. Well, that dude is coming. I don't remember where we hide. I played this before. Someone's coming. Give me your hand. <gasps> Get in. Tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. under the weight of the bag. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Luga, do you know what separates run-of-the-mill detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. around at the large sack which burdened them. It's a body. It's a body. He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. Some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott, deep engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw a bag, a bag full of slimy old name tags? Uh. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I am not holding your hand. <gasps> what other slime-covered hand would there be in here? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm beginning to see the benefits of Run For Our Lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. <laughs> Let's go! Get out of here! After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. <laughs> Rello, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. There's a body on top of them. Get out of there. Lucas sat in the dark, 
tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass! Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Deacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3. Finding a Friend The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Probably, I think I'm going to end after this. I'm just wondering. I'm on chapter three. A beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Hello? Calm down. No, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering, folks. I'll be right there. Are you sure there's anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around a bit. Ran's brow furrowed. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. I have to go take care of something. We're to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstance are you to leave. If I am not back by dinner, there's stew in the icebox. But, but nothing. You are to stay here, understand? Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Oh, and Luca. He left the icebox open yesterday. We're not made of money, you know. <laughs> I swear I closed it. Oh, that was strange. Okay, let me see here. Saved. Oh, perfect. Perfect. It's saved. I like it. I only played the beginning of that game just a little bit when it was on, it was on Xbox Live or Xbox Live. It was on Xbox Game Pass like a while ago. And I played the beginning and I was like, oh, this is so cute. And I never ever finished it. And I don't, I don't think I got very far. I liked it. A nice like storybook chill kind of game. I like it. What a sleepy Monday. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Man. I'm going to call it. We had a good day. I finally got to finish Iron Bark Lookout. Continued from when I started it months ago. And I couldn't finish it because of my computer. <laughs> it was really fun. Nice Monday. Thank you guys so much. I feel like... Mondays are very, like, very chill, very calm, chill. I like it. Kind of a good way to start the week. I like it. I've got to start another week. <laughs> I might as well 
might as well enjoy something. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I appreciate all of you. Take care of yourselves and have a great rest of your Monday. I will be on tomorrow. I'm starting control because I wanna play, I wanna play the Remedy games in order. So I had Outwake the other week and now I'm gonna play control. And then I wanna, I wanna get Owl Awake to somehow on here <laughs> i'll play it all right guys have a wonderful night i will see you tomorrow bye everybody